G'day, it's Cam from CraftyCAD.com, back again with another video tutorial. In this video I'm going to be demonstrating how to create your own customized template file in DoubleCAD XT. Now I'm using the free version, so if you're using the free version, everything I'm doing here you should be able to follow along with. So to start with, I'm just going to start a new drawing, and we're brought to this template selection screen. All the templates you see here are packaged with DoubleCAD and we're going to build our customized template on top of one of these. So select the template that um, has the most settings closest to what you need. So if you're doing an A1 sheet or if you need imperial units or metric units, pick the one that has, that has the most settings set correctly to start with. I'm going to select the black metric template. Uh, click OK. Now because I've selected a metric template, I know that my units are going to be metric and in millimeters. Um, so that's the first thing you need to check is that your units are as you need them. Hit OK on that. The next thing I'm going to check is my layers. So as you can see, that template only has two layers in it. One's layer zero and one is dimensions. I'm going to start creating the layers that I'll typically have in one of my drawings. So I name my layers by the line width and the line type. So 1.8 is a 0.18 millimeter thick line. So I'm going to set my line weight and I'll set the color to red for this one. And I'll also do a 2.5 continuous layer. And I'll set the color of that one to yellow and 2.5 thick. So I just close this layers dialog box and those layers are saved. Now we're going to go through and set the settings for each of the tools that we commonly use. Um, DoubleCAD groups are tools that are similar, so we only have to set the properties for the line tool, and that will save those through into the polyline, polygon, and rectangle tool. Similarly, we set the properties for the arc tool, and that sets them for the circle, spline, ellipse, and elliptical arc tools. So I'm going to select the line tool, set my default layer to be 2.5, I want to set all of these other properties to be by layer. And you can see when I select the polyline, it pulls those values through. So now I set the properties for the arc tool. Again, set everything to by layer. And that has set it for all of these circular related tools. Uh, last couple of things we need to set are the styles for our text. So I set the font to be ISO CP2. You can use whatever font you want. Um, I was going to set my text height to be 2.5 or 2.47 as DoubleCAD uses. Uh, then I'm going to set my dimension styles. So when you get this um, apply current changes here, yes. It's also worth um, just changing something and then changing it back because I've noticed a bug that if you don't click that tick up here you can actually get stuck in this box so I'm going to go over to dimension styles now now the things you want to set here are precision, our rounding um, units I'm going to change my arrowhead size to 2.5 millimeters I'm going to change the colors of all the line work in these dimensions to be by layer. I'm going to change my line types to be by layer as well. And my line width to be by layer. Also going to set the text properties. So the text color is going to be like by layer again. Text size is going to be 2.5 and that should do it for the dimension so I'm going to click the tick up here again. Also going to set the color for the multi leader by layer and the line weights and line types to be by layer as well. And I'll just set this to be 2.5 millimeters. So you can work your way through these and just set them up as, as you usually use them. And then when you're done just click apply style changes and then you can close this box. 
So now that you've set up all of these settings, I'm going to go up to File, click Save As. Now you want to save this file in the templates directory under Program Files, IMSI Design, Double Cat XT. And you want to make sure that your Save As type is set to Double CAD Template. So I'm going to call this the Crafty CAD Demo Template. And just hit Save on that one. Fill in the details here. And hit OK. So what that does is it saves it out as a 2CT template file. Now next time I start a new drawing by clicking Control N, you'll see that I get my template that I've just created. I click OK on that. So I've got a blank drawing. You'll see that it's pulled through the layers and it's also pulled through each of the properties that I've set up for these tools as well as the styles that we went through and edited then. So you can see my fonts the same, text size is the same. One more thing that's quite handy to do here is to actually jump over into Layout tab. And if you want to, you can insert a title block or any other line work, general notes that you typically have on a drawing. Save them into your paper space and also save your page setups. And to once you've made those changes, you can just save this again over the top as a template. Or alternatively, you can actually use open command, set this to be template, and under this directory, we can open up the template itself, make the changes here, and then just save it straight out. So I hope that's made the templates in Double Cut a bit clearer for you, and hopefully this will save a bit of time as you're creating your drawings. As always, feel free to leave any comments or feedback, so just drop me a line at cam at craftycad.com. Thanks for watching.